Human beings are not meant to be humble. Unbelievable. We're, we're not born to be humble. We're born to be humble. Everybody know it. <laughs> Boxing is a brutal sport. He dominated. Dominated. His legs are huge. His thighs are huge. His arms are huge. His neck is huge. So it's like, it's very risky, yes. But God is in control of all. Because I was beating everybody in every weight class I was in. What's she gonna do? It's, it's like David and Goliath. He's a giant monster we know. And my ego's with me and I'm saying, you think you fly, huh? You ain't shit. Look, the amateur get here, kick your ass. You better get on top of your game. You wanna get embarrassed in front of these people? And I'm little old David who only has God on my side. <laughs> Which is only all I need. <laughs> And then the other ego say, F you, watch what I'm gonna I've been doing this. I ain't been up and fell off. I've been through the Lennox Lewis era, the Nassim Hamed era, the Sugar Shane Moses era, the Oscar De La Hoya era, Marco Antonio Barrera. I've been through all the eras, and I've still been here. Give me mine. The best man fight, the best fight in the world. Come I don't tonight. Understand what I'm saying? I was gonna rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. And Tyson with a block punch. Teddy, a prime Mike Tyson here has so many KO1s sprinkled across his record. Do you expect those kind of fireworks early on here? Yeah, for a couple reasons. He understands the history. He's a history student. He likes the legacy. He wants to be like Jack. He falls victim to that big hook. Doing fine. You're okay. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Tyson's big, big shot comes crashing home. Of course, Mike Tyson has a history with being down, but not necessarily out. Will this be like the first knockdown against Buster Douglas or the final one? One, two. So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out as Tyson has steadied himself back up on his feet. Roy Jones Jr.'s combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing halfway through round number one. It's hard to touch Roy Jones Jr. with a clean glove. But if he can, his opponent does have power. Yes, he does have power, and he has a chance to catch Roy. Roy gives you this chance. Clean. Because Roy will make you miss, but he'll do it naked. He'll do it with his hands down. If you catch him, bang. You catch him with everything. Super two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. And now he scores well with a straight right. And now he's targeting upstairs. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Jones is left, working well that time. Mike Tyson's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown, and Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hits you from behind. You drop. You're afraid to go in that room again. So, put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Big left hand from Roy. Good block by Roy.
Good shot to the head with that right hand. Mike Tyson's alarm clock went off in his head moments ago. He went down earlier, and now you can see that something just woke him up and said, you got to go for it right here. You got to swing for the fences somehow. The danger here is he's trying, as you said, Joe, he's trying to get it over with all at once. Now, you wouldn't start a fight that way because you know that it would leave you available to the other guy. Right now, he's available to the other guy. Solid straight right hand. You need to keep the head moving. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Right. He scored well after being hit himself. Hey, you gotta see that coming, now let's go. And now he scores with that left to the body. And another jab comes in by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive whiz. You know, he's not Claude Waynes. He didn't all of a sudden become the invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counterpunch. Well, the old timers used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Roy Jones Jr. is applying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. It's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed. Find something. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Flush right hand to the body. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Roy connects with that right hand. And now another hand. left. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Mike Tyson. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing? Here? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Your jab will good for you. Round number four is underway as we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see what a difference the knockdown can make. Jones is, fans have to be loving this early lead. Yeah, but with that power, you know, he can make a mistake, and he can win the fight. His opponent can't afford any mistakes, and not any more mistakes. job with another left hand. He just missed that shot up top. There's the combo to the body. Big uppercut right on the mark. Well off the mark by Roy Jones. Halfway through. And now you see him scoring well with the right. And yet another big shot comes in. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on?
But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Little bit of space now to get away from the ropes. Tyson's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Last 10 seconds. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Three minutes gone by in this round. Jason Cobb. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Mike Tyson's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, so for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, right, the same attitude, right. as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. there by Roy Jones. Mike Tyson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. He didn't see that left hand, and it, there it is! What a turn of events! What a turnaround! He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Look at that. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. One, two, three, four, five. Roy Jones Jr.'s trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Keep your distance. Work the body. The combo lands upstairs. Jones's hand speed right now, the difference is what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Tyson's punch didn't come close. A classic one-two combo by Mike Tyson. And round five comes to an end. Tyson's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around, where he You're leads now fight. with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit, where he can't pick up things. Maybe now, he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. Accurate hook. Roy Jones Jr. with a royal right. Two good jabs by Roy Jones. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Landing two jabs by Roy Jones. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Yeah. 
Jones is really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Focus. Good smooth work by Roy Jones. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Finish with the hook. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Jones's corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. Final round has arrived. Who wants it more? Nice job doubling up the jab by Mike Tyson. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Roy Jones Jr. is out there just waiting on a counter punch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard. Wow. He gets floored with one single shot. He was just torn down like an old building. This fight is over. Tyson's power turns things around. He goes from trailing on your scorecard to winning by knockout. That's what's great about this sport, and that's why people always come out to watch it, because you can make everything right in the world, or at least that night you can make everything right in the ring. He made it right. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.